Welcome to the Elvis Presley channel. Anne Margaret and Elvis Presley shared similar passions, but they both have different preferences about marriage. Anne was a mature, independent and career-oriented woman who needed a supportive husband. On the other hand, Elvis considered women should not prioritise their careers after marriage. He believed that women should stay at home and raise a family, just like his mother. Did Elvis Presley break up with Anne Margaret because of her career? Make sure to watch the video until the end, and if you are new here, don't forget to join our wonderful community by subscribing to the channel. While co-starring in the 1964 film musical Viva Las Vegas, Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret famously had a passionate affair. Elvis and Anne Margaret continued to have a love for each other even after they had married other people. Given the fact that they only dated for about a year when Elvis had already promised marriage to Priscilla Presley, their friendship lasted until Elvis Presley died in 1977. Elvis's earlier commitment to Priscilla, who was already living at Graceland, was one of the reasons he ended his relationship with Anne Margaret. However, several people in Elvis's life believed that Anne Margaret's ambitions turned him off as well. His love and loyalty for Anne Margaret was apparent, but at the same time he was often labelled as traditional and old-fashioned in his views on gender roles. He never wanted his wife to be a star. In the meantime, Anne Margaret was dedicated to her achievements. So many people who were close to him claimed that Anne Margaret's career was a big reason behind their breakup. To what extent was it true? Did Elvis Presley break up with Anne Margaret because of her career? You will find out all the answers by the end of this video, so keep watching till the end. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, was known for his unique personality and complicated relationships. His relationship with Anne Margaret was one such example. They formed a close bond while filming Las Vegas in 1964, and they seemed to have all the ingredients for long-term love. They believed they were true soulmates because of their similar personalities. But in the end he picked Priscilla, his long-time fiancée, over Anne Margaret. Even though he was unable to marry Anne Margaret, he never failed to admire her achievements throughout his life. Elvis continued to send Anne Margaret flowers whenever she opened her show for the rest of his life, and he subsequently revealed that he still loved her. Here a question arises if he really loved her that much, then what stopped him to marry her? As a matter of fact, he was already committed to Priscilla, and he fulfilled his promise to marry her, but is this the only reason he broke up with Anne Margaret? Probably not. The main contributing obstacle was Anne's career and Elvis's mindset about gender roles. He wanted a young wife like Priscilla, who could live happily as a housewife with him, and Anne Margaret was not the one. Anne was mature, independent, and career-oriented. On the other hand, Priscilla was young, naive, and not from show business. However, Priscilla was not supposed to be like that forever. Anne Margaret, as the swimming instructor in Viva Las Vegas, attracted Elvis in a way that every single person around them noticed that there was something different, something real in their performance. They both discovered many common aspects in their personalities. In addition to music, they shared a passion for motorcycles, a love of family, a desire for privacy, a devotion to God, and late-night talks. Everything they loved about life was reflected on them, as though they were both mirrors of each other. Even when they danced, their synchronicity was flawless. After the first recording session for the film with Anne Margaret, Elvis admitted that they moved in the same way, that their impulses were the same, and that they both felt the music in the same way. He expressed his satisfaction at being able to play with someone who anticipated his motions, mirrored them, and added her own spark to the process. A love affair sparked between the two that encompassed their lives entirely, and Margaret revealed she and Elvis were soulmates, but were both emotionally dependent. Before long the pair had hit it off and became inseparable, and Margaret became a regular member of Elvis's entourage, the Memphis Mafia, and spent as much time with the king as possible. Looking back on the relationship, Anne Margaret explained their similarities. Anne Margaret wrote in her memoir, My Story, that she and the king were destined to be together. She said, We were indeed soulmates, shy on the outside, but unbridled within. 
but there was a darker side to the connection Elvis and Anne Margaret shared. She explained, We both lived on the edge, and we both were self-destructive in our own ways. In many ways, both of us, despite fame and whatever else we'd achieved so quickly, had remained very childlike and emotionally dependent. However, the spirited lovers could not help but be drawn to one another. And Margaret said of her relationship with Elvis, we both felt a current electricity that went straight through us. It would become a force we couldn't control. Despite that special bonding with Anne Margaret, eventually Elvis broke up with her and chose Priscilla, a girl whom he promised to marry when she was just 14. The two wed in 1967, which was unexpected for most of Elvis's friends. Everyone thought that Elvis would choose Anne Margaret. They were beautiful together. They shared energy for life that made you feel happy for them. Elvis was very fond of her and loved to make her laugh. However, Anne Margaret knew that they had to break off their affair. Presley planned to marry Priscilla, and Anne Margaret respected him for upholding his obligations. What was the exact reason behind their break-up? His previous commitment? A misunderstanding? or something else. They parted ways when rumours about Elvis's engagement with Anne began making the news after Anne Margaret was misquoted. Presley cleared the air, noting that the actress had only admitted to being in love with him, but the rumours of an engagement were false. Even though Presley had cleared the air, it was already too late as the rumour had gotten to Priscilla Beaulieu. Shortly after the press onslaught, Elvis Presley broke off the affair. Eventually, Elvis stopped returning Anne Margaret's calls, and Margaret was mentally prepared for that. She knew that her relationship with the King couldn't last due to his engagement. He then returned to Graceland to propose to his then girlfriend, Priscilla Beaulieu. Elvis fulfilled his promise to Priscilla, and they tied the knot in Las Vegas on May 1st, 1967. Yet it was not the only reason behind their breakup. If Elvis wanted to marry Anne Margaret, he could have married her despite whatever the press was betraying. Strangely, some people claim that Elvis was forced to marry Priscilla. Priscilla's parents might have pressurised Elvis to marry, but Elvis was not the man who would do anything he didn't want to do. Though he loved Anne Margaret, he was typically described as standard and old-fashioned in his beliefs regarding gender roles. In the meantime, Anne Margaret was dedicated to her achievements. Despite having similar personalities, and margaret was not the woman Elvis was looking for. Ultimately, Elvis would have always chosen Priscilla over Anne margaret According to Sonny West, Elvis's former bodyguard, Elvis believed women should be submissive to men in romantic relationships and shouldn't put their careers first. While he loved women, he allegedly saw them as wives and mothers first, and didn't expect them to put anything, including their freedom or work, ahead of their man. As a son of the Deep South, Elvis had definite ideas about what his wife's role should be, West wrote in his 2007 memoir, Elvis Still Taking Care of Business. And it wasn't a starring role. That was for him alone. West wasn't the only one who claimed that Elvis saw women's roles in a particular light. Priscilla often claimed over the years that Elvis could be controlling when it came to her appearance and behaviour. Once, when Priscilla was approached on a movie set for a potential Hollywood career of her own, Elvis allegedly turned down the offer immediately. Anita Wood, who dated Elvis from 1957 to 1962, was offered a seven-year contract with Paramount Pictures, but on one of her first days in Los Angeles, Elvis called her up and asked her to come home, and she agreed. Similarly, Linda Thompson, Elvis's girlfriend from 1972 to 1976, claimed in her 2016 memoir, A Little Thing Called Life, that she wasn't sure about marrying the king because she didn't want to end up in the wife penalty box. He had told me that wives didn't go on tour and that they usually only got to go to the Vegas engagements for the opening and or the closing shows, she wrote of Elvis's restrictions on a wife's role in his life. His classic line was, You don't take your wife to work with you, so the wife stayed home but the girlfriends got to travel. It was apparent that the reason was not just his commitment to Priscilla, the more potent reason for him not to marry Anne Margaret was her career. That was the reason he ignored his magical compatibility with Anne Margaret. Elvis himself confessed, 
I really care for her, but under the circumstances, I really don't think it would be a lasting thing. Elvis then explained what he believed was the main obstacle to continuing with Anne. Women should stay at home and raise a family. That's how I was raised. He further said, I'm committed to Priscilla, and some day I'll live up to my commitment. Priscilla reminds me of my mom. She wants to be a mother and raise children. She doesn't want showbiz. In addition to Elvis's more traditional ideas on how men and women should behave in relationships, some people in his life claimed that he was somewhat jealous of the attention Anne Margaret got on the set of Viva Las Vegas. She had already starred in State Fair and Bye Bye Birdie when she was cast alongside Elvis, and she was often described as the female Elvis Presley by the media. In her 1985 memoir, Elvis and Me, Priscilla claimed that Elvis told her all hell had broken loose on the set. While Elvis and Anne Margaret weren't directly competing with one another, both Elvis and his manager, Colonel Tom Parker, weren't happy that his co-star was getting so much of the spotlight. "'I've got some crazy director madly in love with Anne,' Priscilla quoted Elvis as saying at the time. "'The way he's directing it, you'd think it was her movie. He's favouring her in all the goddamn close-up shots. Not only that, they want her to sing some of the songs with me.' Colonel Bout blew a fuse, told them they'd have to pay me extra to sing with her. Still, some in Elvis's crew believed choosing which one to marry was a difficult decision for him. If it really was a difficult decision for Elvis, it was made easier by the stark contrast between the choices. And Margaret wanted a definite commitment from Elvis. She had her own career, which she wasn't about to throw off for anyone, and, more importantly, she was independent and wouldn't take orders. Few women Elvis became involved with had that kind of resolve and sense of self, at least initially. With a few significant exceptions, Elvis never lacked for women willing to oblige him. And Margaret wasn't that type, and Elvis recognised that he'd never be able to exert the control over her that he had had then over Priscilla. It inevitably came down to a choice between Priscilla, someone Elvis believed he could cut off miles away whenever he wanted to enjoy his freedom, and Anne Margaret, who challenged him, if only because her life didn't revolve around his. It was a challenge he never rose to with any woman, which is disastrous. While Elvis and Anne Margaret discussed marriage briefly, they went their separate ways after about a year of dating. Elvis's promise to Priscilla was certainly one reason for his break-up from Anne Margaret, but West believed that his alleged desire to be at the reins in his relationships, and to be the undisputed star as well, might have played a role too. I do not doubt that Elvis loved Anne, West wrote in his memoir, but deep down he knew she wouldn't ever take a back seat to his career, and rightfully so. Anne was going to be a major superstar in her own right, and nobody knew it more than Elvis. Though Anne Margaret stated that her career was not an obstacle in their relationship, her show business career would indeed have been a divisive issue in a marriage with Elvis. Marty Lacker knew how difficult it would be for Elvis to watch his wife's movies. He couldn't have handled it. In marriage, their respective show business obligations would have kept Elvis and Anne Margaret away from each other for considerable periods. His friend and Memphis Mafia member Lamar Fike said, I think Elvis would have married Anne Margaret in New York in a second, but he made it clear he'd do it only if Anne quit the show business and that was not possible for a career-oriented woman like Anne Margaret. Anne Margaret's career was skyrocketing at the time. She made a splash in Hollywood after appearing in Bye Bye Birdie, before taking the lead role in Viva Las Vegas. Before long, she had her own Las Vegas residency slot. On the other hand, Priscilla was only 14, seemingly a mouldable child, when Elvis, then 24, met her. He was attracted by her innocence, which offered him the opportunity to mould her into the ideal marriage partner some day. When Priscilla moved into Graceland in 1963, Elvis began controlling every aspect of her life, including her appearance and relationships with others inside and outside his inner circle. Of course, Priscilla finally broke free from Elvis's stifling control. Later, she went on to be an accomplished actress and a successful businesswoman, who preserved Graceland and Elvis's commercial legacy following his death. However, he remained a loyal friend of Anne Margaret, though she was happily married to Roger Smith. 
It's obvious that Elvis and Anne Margaret shared a relationship of deep affection, trust and respect. Anne Margaret's show business was surely an obstacle in their relationship. But there is no doubt that Elvis was in love with Anne Margaret. Even today it is plain to see, from the many of his photographs with her, that there was something exquisite between them. And perhaps that was his love that Anne Margaret always talked highly of Elvis, and that was the case with almost all of the women in his life. They were all protective and loyal to him. Isn't it showing a lot about who he truly was in life? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Elvis made the right decision at the end? We will never know. Why Elvis would have always chosen Priscilla over Anne Margaret? Watch this video and find out.